the heads, <clears throat> excuse me, the heads are finally out of the machine. And now I'm still going to pull this engine. I'm not just taking the heads out and redoing them. I'm going to redo the whole motor. But I wanted to get the heads out of the way because I'm by myself and my cherry picker doesn't go that high. The ceiling's too low. So I want to clear as much off the motor as I can before I pull it out. I can go ahead and drop the heads off at the um, engine shop. The heads are pretty reasonable. <clears throat> Gotta get them stripped down. But um, man, they're rough. And this piston over here. <laughs> It's number one piston with this light where we can see. I don't know if you can see it or not. That piston moves inside the bore. That shouldn't move. These rings in this motor just wore out. And I guess we'll um, take it out, put it on the engine stand. Probably get that next weekend. I've got as much as I can do this weekend. I didn't have much time. I've been busy all weekend doing something else. But uh, we've done a little time lapse on this just to show where we was pulling the heads and stuff off. We'll get the smog off. I think this is a crate motor. Uh, the pistons has got numbers stamped into the top of them. The number one has like a U stamped in it. Don't know why. And the number three piston has a either a six or a S. A S would mean standard, I would imagine, but it's been stamped in with like a pointy. Somebody's put little pointy dots on it with a little pointy object, so I, I figure it was probably down in somebody's garage. This truck's got 200,000 miles on it. Wouldn't be unusual for somebody to rebuild it, but we'll get into it deeper. We'll take a closer look at the heads. We'll pull the timing chain off, see what kind of timing chain it's got. I don't think it has uh, why well, I may have put a timing chain in it myself. I know I put a water pump on it once. I may have went ahead and changed the timing chain while I was in there. We'll find out. But uh, that's going to wrap me up for this weekend. And I didn't get a whole lot done. I did get the heads off, and that's I can still drop those off at the machine shop. Then when I get this block and crank stripped down, I'll drop them off. I'm in no hurry. I'm doing one or two things at a time. But thanks for hanging out with me. I do appreciate you guys. And... Stay clean, everybody.